Hey guys, I am going to show you how to fix this problem on your Windows 11 system. In the first step, go to Task Manager, then click on Run New Task. Now click here. Once you are here, open C Drive, then open this folder. Now open Windows 32 folder. Sorry, System 32 folder then just scroll down and find out for cmd.exe file select it and click on open now this will be your path after that check this box and click on ok now it will open command prompt window now type these commands carefully type in sfc space slash scan file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll then simply type and press enter to execute the command after that type sfc space slash verify file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll now press enter and after that type exit to close the command prompt window now simply move to the next step go to the search bar and type here services and click here to open it now on this window just scroll down and find out for windows update right click on it and select stop we need to stop these services after that close this window and again go to search bar simply type here file manager and open file explorer from here now open c drive open windows folder again just scroll down and open software distribution folder simply select all these files and delete them once done close this window now go to search bar and type services and open it now right click on windows update and start services what's it uh, once it's running now close this window and move to the next step press windows plus r together and open run then simply type here ms config and click on ok it will open system configuration window now select boot tab and check this set boot click on apply and then ok now we need to simply restart our system it will take you in safe mode so once you are here we need to open run again type here you can press windows plus r together to open run now type app viz dot cpl it will open programs and features from here click on view install now simply uninstall this security update for microsoft windows once done close this window and simply again go to run and then type here ms config click on ok now go to boot tab and uncheck this box click on apply and then ok it will restart your system that's it guys your problem will be solved and you're good to go